Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm covering uh, central composite designs right now. And um, this I've done two of these, 103A, 103B. This will be the third part where I take this central composite design and then I estimate the effects, um, both for the factors as well as the regression coefficients. So this is where we were last time. We looked at the linear factors. None of the linear factors were significant. And then we went back in here, and we, um, under the model, when we set up the, the, quanti the quadratic main effects, and sure enough, the degrees effects, as well as the um, interaction, was, was uh, significant. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the um, effects tab where we were last time, and then we're going to click these estimates to look at the um, standardized uh, recoded factor values for these, right? And so if I wanted to basically create a prediction of yield, yield the yield prediction would be something like 87.4 um, minus 1.7 X1 minus 2.8 uh, um, I'm sorry not not 1.7 uh, it's the X1 is actually uh, 2.7 um, and then the, the squared term would be 0.72 um, etc but really I prefer looking at the regression coefficients and so if I do that I can look at right here at those, and this is the, the regression coefficients that we, we get for the regression line. Um, and so, again, you can look at either one, the coded effect, uh, as well as the regression coefficients. And those are the results there. And lastly, the next one will be, will be done response surfaces.